Hi friends, so this afternoon Naomi, Gabriel, Liam and I are going to share with you our experience of making super simple Christmas candy. This Christmas candy, there's a few very popular recipes spinning around online right now. One recipe calls it Christmas Crack. I believe it's the passionate Penny Pincher who's sharing her version of the recipe and her link will be in the description below. Also, my friend Crystal Payne over at MoneySavingMom.com, she has a version of this recipe. I I'm saying versions. I think all these ladies are doing the recipe very similar. Crystal, she called her the world's easiest Christmas candy. So I'm calling my version super simple <laughs> Christmas candy. Um, some readers, when I've shared the recipe, they've told me on Facebook that they call it grandma's soda candy. And another lady shared that she's always called it poor man's candy. So when you see what is in these ingredients, you'll see super, super simple. <laughs> So what we have here is an excuse, oh, excuse this mess and Liam Pew Puming. He is working with the sprinkles. He's got a clementine there. I've got my afternoon good and holy cup of coffee. And those are Gabriel's feet in the air. What you doing there, Gabriel? <laughs> Silly. Okay. And and yeah crash and boom so what we have here is I've got some we're gonna do some rollout cookies here in a few minutes but I want to do this recipe for you guys first so all it is is you got some butter you've got some chocolate chips brown sugar and yes saltine crackers we're gonna layer the saltine crackers on a baking pan we're gonna melt our butter and our brown sugar and pour spread it over our saltine crackers we're gonna put them in the oven for just a few minutes and then pull them out and put on a few cups of chocolate chips, put it back in the oven to set, and then we'll pull it out, spread out the chocolate and put the whole pan in the freezer then for up to an hour until the chocolate hardens. When that's all said and done, we have a wonderful, crunchy Christmas candy mixture and so I'm excited for us to do this today. Now to keep myself straight on all the various recipes that we're gonna pull together today, my goal right now is to get these super simple Christmas candy recipe done and then hopefully we're gonna get to our rollout cookies. If we don't get to them, we're gonna do those tomorrow morning. But I have a set of free Mommy and Me baking sheets over on my jmorellstewart.com site, soon to become the encouraginghomeschoolmom.com, hurrah. So what I've been doing is I just write out my recipes that I'm trying to keep straight in my brain whenever we're getting ready to do a baking session like this. What there is is there's several recipe sheets, printables. There's also these little, these made with love mommy and me little baking tags and from the kitchen of with a little mixing bowl these can be clipped off and if you're giving goodies as gifts you can use these for your gift tags and then there's also a fun cute grocery list depending on different things you need i know we needed chocolate chips so travis was going to town and he got to do a chocolate chip run for me so i've read from some moms and they say to use a light coat of cooking spray some say it's not needed we're going to just do a little light coat and then liam here is going to have the job of spreading crackers out on two huge baking sheets because we have to make this stewart size of course okay covered two large sheets with crackers. Liam's, Liam's um, sheet, these baking sheets are a little bigger, so they took a little over a sleeve of crackers each. You can see this was Liam's first sleeve, and then in his second sleeve he has quite a few. Um, so, right, um, so right now I'm gonna take you over and we're gonna melt our butter and our brown sugar. Okay, Gabby, so you put that one cup of brown sugar in the saucepan, and then we'll do one more. Good, that was the second cup. Oh, a little extra brown sugar for licking. It's on my finger. <laughs> oh, yum, yum, yum. Okay, Gaby, that's good. Go ahead and dump that in our saucepan, sweetie. 
And then we're gonna have Miss Naomi here. You're gonna man the stove. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, okay, little butter taste. Dump that into the saucepan. You put it on the uh, this front burner here and then get one of our wooden spoons. And as it heats up, you're gonna stir it. So after Miss Naomi has all the brown sugar and butter melted, we're gonna spread that over our cracker layers and get these in the oven for a few minutes. Oh, that's excellent. Starting to melt. You want a butter, butter cracker too? Mm -hmm. Yum. Eating while cooking is the best part. And hey, if my friend Christy Jordan, Christy, if you're watching this Miss Southern Plate, you'll have to tell us in the comments if we're doing this okay or not. You know so much more than me about good cooking. So, so Naomi just asked me how long I've been cooking. I've been cooking, see well, when Daddy and I first got married, I couldn't boil rice. And I would try to make us meals with rice and it would be crunch, crunch, crunch. It took me a long time to learn how to boil rice. Um, really, I would say it's been in the last five to 10 years that I have really started to learn how to actually cook things that are edible. Um, because whenever you have a growing family, you mamas know that you quickly learn to figure it out. So Naomi hopefully will be ahead of the game and she'll start off in this world and all our boys too. All our kids will be able to go into this world and know how to boil rice and boil eggs and cook noodles and scrambled eggs. I had Jaden make us scrambled eggs earlier this week and he did the toast and he just served us breakfast. I want to try to start doing that more with the teen boys is giving them meals that they can prepare and do for us so that they have some cooking skills here. I can mm -hmm. I can cook a little bit of stuff like pancakes and stuff. You but can. Um, but um but I can't really do it by myself though. That's right. Yeah, you do need my help. Oops. So yes, it's done. Let me see the spoon for a minute. This is what it looks like all nice and saucy. Okay. That looks yummy. It does. Looks like syrup on crackers. It is. It is like a syrup. I think on the other posts that I've read about how to do this Christmas candy, it wasn't quite, wasn't quite as syrupy as ours is looking. But we're still going to give it a go, and if we mess up, we'll share our mess up. We just put our mixture in the oven, and we are having a peek. We're going to leave it in there for a few minutes, right, Mr. Yeah. Liam? Yeah. And then we're going to pull it out, and we're going to put our cups of, cups of chocolate chips on it. I think I might have done wrong is somehow our picture didn't look as gooey and as thick as some of the other pictures I've seen for this recipe. So I'm going to test it and see if the way that we did it still turns out fabulous or if it's a total flop, and I'll go back and try it again. So our bag of chocolate chips ended up being about four cups, and I'm gonna put two cups on each of these. Just about right. So here's what they look like going back in. So we've got them in the oven now. We're just going to close them up for a few minutes. Melting. They are melting. That's good. Yum, yum. Because the sooner they melt, the sooner we get to eat. That's right. And we've got to put them in the freezer after they for melt. a little bit after. That's right. And then they're done. That's right. So our chocolate chips are nice and gooey. We're going to take it out now and spread them out. and what we've been doing while we've been waiting for our super easy Christmas candy to harden up in the freezer. We have been making rollout cookies, so they show up well on my purple sweater. And here's a look at the hard workers. Oh, that's lovely, Gaby. What's that? It's a Christmas tree. Hey. It's a Christmas tree? Yes. Do you want to eat metal? Because we got a bicycle right Oh, here. we got a bicycle, and Liam is having fun rolling those out. It's the Christmas tree kind of broke. Oh, it's okay. 
we can always try again. So I have not been vlogging us making these rollout cookies. I do hope we are gonna make these cookies several times though, so at some point in the coming days, I am gonna vlog one of our rollout cookie cooking sessions. But now I'm gonna give you a peek at how that Christmas candy turned out. So here is a peek, friends, on how this wonderful Christmas candy turned out. I have two sheets. We pulled one out of the freezer, and this is what it looks like. And then I spooned it out with a metal spatula, and we have a wonderful pile of candy. So, yeah, it's cooking. A plus we're chefs. Yes, we're chefs, cookie makers. Take mm -hmm. one piece and try it out and tell me if it's good. Okay, one piece. See how fabulous it's it is? It's hard. It is hard. It's been in the freezer. And a little bit gooey. Oh, yeah. Yummy. Hard, gooey, chocolatey. Yummy. Yummy goodness. Yummy. Lots of chocolate. Jesus so, made that. Yes, yes. Jesus. It's so good. Jesus invented super easy Christmas candy. You heard it here first. So, this was our first attempt at making it. And even though our mixture of butter and brown sugar looked a little thinner than the other pictures that I saw, I think. It's Ours delicious. turned out fantastic. It's delicious. You heard it here first. I'm glad we have a whole other pan of this because I'm sure it's going to be gone here this weekend. And let me know what your versions of this super easy Christmas candy is. And again, links will be in the description below. You'll have to click underneath the title on the YouTube main page and then you'll be able to see links to several other people who've made this recipe and how they alter it, different little things they do. So let me know what you're cooking up for Christmas in the comments below. Bye. Until next time, bye-bye.